are you doing in my house? Eating a big ass sandwich and shit. Nigga, I'm Santa Claus. What the fuck the milk and cookies? I got your Santa Claus. <laughs>
he comes back and he he was pretty funny. I liked his character. Dragon Daddy! Hell, I was about to bury Bond y'all's black asses. You almost made me catch a heart attack. I ought to hit you in your ass and get your brain damaged. He's one of those stand-up comedians at the time they got him to do next Friday. Which I don't I don't know if he is right now. I thought his character was pretty funny. Chris Tucker was asked to, of course, reprise his role as Smokey from the first one, be money rejected. I think it's because of the same thing I said in the last review about next Friday is because of his life changes. He just didn't want to do it. Now, I heard that from the commentary from director Marcus Rayboy that originally, if they'd have got him back, they were going to make the, the Santa Claus thief Smokey. I don't know how I would have reacted to that, but at the same time, I really would have liked to see how that would have turned out. That the homie that Craig knew, that he smoked weed with and had all those crazy adventures with in the first one, turned out to be the thief and stole from Craig in this one. How that would have played out, we'll never know. But that's what director Marcus Rayboy said on the commentary for the DVD. They were going to get Chris Tucker, and they were going to have... Him revealed as the Santa Claus thief. But it is what it is. We'll never know how that would have turned out. Now, a lot of people might not have really agreed with that. But at the same time, I really wanted to come back just one last time. And it would have really been interesting, especially if they'd uh, closed it with him. And even though this movie came out in 2002, and it looks like there's no more on the horizon, that would have been a perfect way to actually end it in this whole franchise. But again, that's just me. And you got this micro mini pimp character played by Cat Williams. Wait a minute, let me put some pimp in there. He's funny looking, huh? I don't know, why he dressed like this? He was pretty funny. And this was the first movie I actually seen that actor or that comedian in. And then like, there's that first Sunday movie he came out with Ice Cube later on in uh, 2007, I believe. Other than that, this and that movie was the only one I've seen that actor in. And I liked I liked him. He was pretty funny. And this is also the first movie I've seen Terry Crews play in. And he plays the uh, gay character, the son to their to Craig and Dady's landlord. <laughs> 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 I heard you motherfuckers ain't paid your rent this month. Stuck in the dodge with mugs and shit. He was okay. He was sort of like the warning. Like, you know, you better pay up your rent. Otherwise I'm coming for you. But at the same time, he was he was he was pretty decent. Like I said, that was the first time I seen Terry Crews and Cat Williams in a movie. And as far as I know, the bull terrier that was in this, the little bulldog. I don't think it was actually the same dog they used in Next Friday. I could be wrong, but I was looking it up and I found no record of it being the same dog. It's They used the same name, Chico, which was the name of the bull, bulldog in Next Friday. I want to say it is the same dog, but I'm not sure. You guys can quote me on that. What'd you say? Damn. We just got robbed, Chico. It looks like the same dog and they used the same name, Chico. But in my reading, I found no evidence that was actually the same dog. So, in the end, I'm just going to chalk it up to being the same dog for the next Friday. But yeah, the characters was very colorful. The dialogue, it was okay. The cinematography, you know you're watching a Christmas movie. This was set around Christmas time. A lot of people consider it as being a Christmas movie because of the atmosphere and the time that it was set. This film has gained a large cult following due to its humorous plot and overdeveloped dialogue and all that. It was, it was hated, and some people still hate it to this day, but it's gained such a cult following that some people actually like it. I was never one of the ones that hated it. You can't help but compare something that was once really great, and then they come out with a couple sequels, that just kind of gone downhill. You can never do a review or talk about it without comparing it to that one great film, Friday. I'm not trying to say that they could have done better, because they could have. This film was originally meant to be called Final Friday, but the producers felt like that was a, really, a little bit too close to how Jason Goes to Hell is named. 
Jason goes to hell on the final Friday. So they just decided to call it Friday After Next. And I would have been okay if they'd have named it Final Friday because it is now 2019. We've been getting a lot of reports about them coming out with another Friday, but nothing. Zilt. And it's been since 2002. So if they'd have named it Final Friday back then, then we would have been okay. I would have been good with it. Seems how the circumstances is. But in the end, guys, this wasn't really that bad, although it's a tad better than next Friday. I still hold this to be a little bit of a downer. But all in all, guys, I do consider this to be a good Friday movie, though it doesn't hold up to the last one next Friday. And it definitely doesn't compare to the first Friday. I still consider it to be a good comedy if you've got nothing else to do, if there's nothing to do outside, if you're off from work. You can watch it on Netflix or whatever. I still consider it to be a good comedy. <laughs> Somewhat. Friday After Next gets a B-. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share. What do you think of Friday After Next? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And again, I apologize for this crap. I'm trying to get the words out as best I can. So I apologize if you're not hearing me correctly. I'm getting this treated and hopefully I'll be back on my feet sooner than you think. But stay tuned for more videos coming soon. My review for Captain Marvel should be out real soon. So stay tuned for that. And peace to rip out.